Welcome back. It's been too long. It's been like um two minutes before um after we filmed that pang <laughs> video. If you wanna check that out, do it. Spoil <laughs> Already starts off of a video plug. Yeah, yeah. But Watch our old video, Pang Adventures. Um, today we're going to talk about. Well, actually, before I go on, I need to talk to our other audience, which is quack, 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 quack. Brilliant. So we've spoken to our fowl friends, our geese friends, maybe our ducks that watch the show. But back to the human watchers. What we. Why is Tate drawing a picture of, what is that, a chicken? I'm not sure. We need to tell Mr. Whiteball. Mr. Whiteball, what game are we doing today? Well, oh. I don't see any title, so I, I don't know. Oh, it's untitled? Huh? Is it just Goose Game? <laughs> if we're doing the untitled Goose Game. We are, we um, are. This was the best skit we could come up with. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know why the game's called Untitled Goose Game. Probably, probably we don't do much, really. <laughs> we'll explain it later, you'll figure out. Well, actually, I think I think it's more of a, t a joke, really, because Untitled Goose Game meant that through its development, I'm sure, they didn't have a name for it, so they, we just called it Untitled Goose Game. It kind of was quite a funny gag. It kind of fits well with the game itself. I thought, let's just stick with it. And I think, apparently, Tate, before we talk about the game itself, it was a bit of a joke project. I think the team that made this game, and if they're watching this, correct, you know, we're happy to be corrected. But I think they said during a team meeting when they're discussing the next game to make, someone came up with an idea of a goose picture and said, well, why don't we start making a game where you can control a crazy goose? And everyone's like, that's just ridiculous. Who wants to play a goose? But then it got, well, you know, people were like, actually, this could be quite a fun game. And it's from there, it's developed in a, a massive, huge hit. And the day it was released, hey, maybe over a year ago now, I, I don't know the exact time, we bought it on the eShop of Nintendo on the Switch. And we played it. We're like... Game causing havoc, we want it. <laughs> exactly. exactly. There might be some people watching right now going, what on earth is Untitled Goose Game? What, what are you talking about? Why are you talking about goose or geese so much? What's going on? How would you explain the game? So, you always tell me to explain the game. <laughs> you, should, you should make an opposite. Oh. Maybe spoilers, I don't know. But any who's, oh, that's, my, that's what my teacher likes to say. Any who's. Um, so my point of Goose Game is really just to make people's day bad, ruin people's day. <laughs> um, yeah, if I wouldn't... you don't want spoilers, you should probably. Well, if they watch, I think if people watch this, they want to learn about the game. Yeah, I would describe it as a spoilers, yeah, I'd describe it as a lovely kind of animated yeah, yeah. Yeah, little lovely. little English village you can imagine it it's got a little pub it's got you know little houses nice gardens quite a, a sweet little village everyone's doing it doing their usual day-to-day -day routines a bit of gardening and whatnot and you control a goose. goose and your goose is a typical goose it wants it's, it's cheeky it's it's, a, it's it's not evil I'm not saying it's an evil goose but it's, a, it's borderline naughty and it's Basically, you've got a little checklist to complete before you can get to the next stage, don't you, Tate? So it's a little bit of notepad, and there's, uh, there's we'll talk about the stages later on, but the map opens up, and if you do this, it opens up, and it all goes around causing, you know, causing tricks and causing havoc in this little village. So let's start, let's start. You start by swimming up a little pond to a farmer, is that right? Yeah. Um, then... What do you do to that annoys the farmer so much? Um, you... The way we did it and got in the garden, I'm not sure you have to, there's probably other ways. But um, I remember like he had two piles of wheat in his garden yep. next to a hose thing, and it was like a screw and it turns on the hose. And then you moved a sack and, of like wheat, and then you turn the hose on, and then he goes to turn it off. Well, whilst, whilst he's done that, you can go inside his garden. Yeah. And that's where you first get to look at the checklist. Yeah. Um, the, the checklist is like, steal the farmer's shoes. And, yeah, and turn the radio on or something like that. It's all about just causing trouble. Yeah, and there's also one where you, um, he, you have to steal um, like, each of his vegetables and, and food. 
you have and there's a picnic table outside and then you have to make a whole picnic for yourself. That's right, yes, that's right, that's right, yeah, you do. There's all the bonus missions. And once you do that, I think it's one of our favourite parts, you come across a little kid, um, a little boy, uh, I feel a bit sorry for him really, and, which, and he's got a little, he loves his toy aeroplane, that's his favourite toy. He loves his toy aeroplane, doesn't he? Yeah. And what do you do to this aeroplane? Um, so, you untie his shoes, and he wears glasses, and you can scare him and make him run, and then he falls off, <laughs> drops his glasses. Yeah. It's, a bit, it's very rude, but I like taking the glasses so he doesn't... I take his glasses, plop it in, in a well, yeah. actually, yeah. so he can't get that. <laughs> never see that his glasses again. But then whilst he's, he never lets go of his toy aeroplane mm. until, he until he's full. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. you take it. And then you go to the shop and put it on a shelf. And then the boy goes, somehow magically finds his glasses again. Well, yeah, he's and, spare pair probably. Yeah. And he, he he goes to the shop and then and then he wants his aeroplane back. But since it's on, on a shelf in the shop, um, the shop owner's like, you have to buy that. Are you stealing from me? <laughs> exactly. And he has to pay for his toy again. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's great. And let's talk about the goose for a little bit. So you do play a goose and you can do a few things. You can grab stuff with your beak. You can flap your wings, which doesn't do that much. I think it might scare humans a bit. And you can honk. So there's honk, honk. Also, um, people, I think people have been requesting this. And it came out about like in lockdown mm -hmm. or something, co-op mode. Actually. Yeah, so originally it was, it was a one player game, good fun, but two player, well, hey, double the fun, right? And yeah. what's different about the geese? Is it, it, you know, are they crazy different? What's the difference? They're not that different. No. One has yellow beak, one has orange beak. <laughs> yeah. They don't have an orange chop, so I use pink close enough. Yeah, would they? So yeah, they look quite similar. They, I don't think one's stronger than the other, but you work well. I forgot to draw wings on that guy. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll, they'll let us off, our lovely viewers. Um, it's brilliant. So you, you, you also cause havoc by going to different gardens. You have to break things, move things around. Mm -hmm. One of my favourite bits is you can move a statue, can't you, of a goose itself in someone's garden. Oh, yeah. And put on a sort of like lovely bow tie. And you can pretend to be the statue to trick the remember the the, the women in the garden. It's very yeah, good. Yeah, and then you have to. I remember you have to steal the man's slippers. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, it's a stealth puzzle game. So to un, to to complete the game, we'll talk about how you complete the game later. You have to be quite strategic what you do. You can't just go honk 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 wave your arms about, what your, your your wings about. You have to think carefully about what you're doing. Do this and do this and move here. There are different ways of doing it as well. There's different ways of achieving certain missions, which I love. It's got replay ability. Yeah. And, yeah, and then you end up in the pub, which is really cool, isn't it? And there's a loads of grumpy people in the pub. But there's only... The only people who actually like you in this game were two people and two girls in the pub. Yep. And, like, there's, there's like, this drain bit, and it, and it goes up. Yeah, a little ramp. It makes, like, a little... Yeah, a ramp. Yeah. And then it makes, like, a tiny stage for you. And then, then she, and then you have to this. Then you have to see, copy their arm movements. Like if they do that, you have to flap your wings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if they do this, you have to honk. Because right. and then when they're done, you get um you get a flower, and then that's one of your tasks. Really. That's right. Now this is it's set in a little English village. Uh, so like I said, there's a pub, there's a shop, there's just little gardens, and interestingly. We never actually see it in the game, but interestingly, we've got a very good idea that the end of this village is quite a lovely castle, don't we? Why do we think it's a castle? We don't know for certain. Can you explain what's because going on? Because at the end of the game, um, you suddenly find this tiny replica yep. of the, of the whole village. Yeah, so it's like a mini a mini village, like a one that you might see it in like Lego Land, something like a little miniature village. Obviously, people are proud of it. Oh, look, that's my house, but in miniature scale. You and you as a, a goose look, uh, I don't know, uh, as tall as a house, don't you? He's not taller. Yeah, and you're like, you don't have to, but me and Dad, we love to go around and like, there's miniature people as well, and yeah, then right. we like to grab them and put them in, <laughs> like throw them in the lake. Or hey, we're bad boys or bad geese. And, but you go through the whole the whole map and like the garden, the house, mm -hmm. even the boys there. And so you find this weird car 
castle looking church. Tower thing, yeah. Yeah. And it has a bell and you have to pull out some bricks and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So the building falls and you take the bell and then you have to run oh. through the whole map back where you came from, all the way to back where you've been. It will come to the final final twist at the end, because it's a good little ending. But obviously if you're a geese with a bell in your mouth, you you're obviously want to get back to your pond as quick as possible you have to weave your way back through the map don't you there's no shortcuts through the pub through the gardens uh through the street with the shops and then through through the farm and obviously when you're waving around you've got the bell going ding 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 ding, and everyone's watching you and go ah get the geese there's our famous bell the, the annoying thing is makes it really hard yeah when you're walking the bell doesn't go off but when you're running like it does but when you walk, you have more chance of like being chased. It's true. So, so do, you, do you go with speed and noise or stealth and silence? It's a tough one. Well, like you have to, you have to like, if, when they find you, you mm. run, but you try not to get noticed. That's why two player mode is quite good. So the, the, the goose without the bell can distract the humans while the one with the bell can kind of sneak through. We, we work well together, don't we? Um, never yeah, no, it's a great thing. It's a great game. It's really fun. I would highly recommend playing it. It's again pretty cheap now, I think. Um, well, before, yeah, let's talk about the end then. So you you got this bell at the end. You get back to your pond, and if you keep going down, you, I think it unlocks a bit that we haven't been before. And there's a bit of a ditch. Now, Tate, do you want to explain what happens with the bell? So you can hold things with your feet, and then you can hold the bell. That's that's how you take it, not yeah. with your wind and then you lean over and drop it in the hole but then the camera zooms down and you see like many other <laughs> bells and... yeah it basically means you have done this multiple times you have stolen that bell and put it in the ditch and you are a real havoc on that little village it's great it's almost like wow you know, I'm surprised. I'm sorry Keith I'm surprised you're still alive or at least welcome in this village because you do cause a lot of trouble yeah. Yeah. Um, there's also like you know at the end with the castle, yeah. there's a whole replica of the mini village, but we, we you never see the castle in the game ever. Well, look. Now I'm going to talk to the developers of the game, and I, I hope they're going to make a DLC or even part two. And if they do, we've got a few ideas. Yeah. Number one, expand the village. We want you. We want to see the castle or the big tower in yeah, real life. Castle level of like knights and kings and stuff. We want to see it, you know, and 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 even beyond that, you know, make it huge, make it a whole town, maybe, you know, be a, be a geese in a football stadium Any or something. Story, yeah. Well, I was also thinking, could you unlock other animals? We like the geese. We've got nothing wrong or with the geese. Maybe you can get animal friends and then they help you. Exactly. Maybe you can control. What other animals would you like to control in that game? They've got to be animals that can that are no one hates, but also pesty. Yeah, a bit, a little bit like pests, maybe. or at least can cause trouble. Oh, a raccoon. Raccoon DLC. We want raccoons. I was thinking maybe uh, you could control um, foxes as well. A fox, a badger, uh, maybe something really crazy. Bats. How about like a mole and you could like dig underground, like oh, really stealth? We want a flying mole, that's what I want. Oh, we like geese but they can't fly very well, so maybe a little chicken. You can fly a little bit and sort of float around. Or a penguin can't fly, but yeah. maybe a penguin. Here we go, uh, Untitled Goose Game Developers. Uh, this is your story. Um, the zoo has been unlocked. It's, it's you know somehow the zoo's been unlocked and loads of animals have escaped. And you control those animals That's in this the first English. Level. And yeah. You get, a checklist, you get a checklist and you can control snakes. You can control uh, ligers. Uh, I don't even know what a liger. Okay, yeah, that, that's part of the zoo maybe. Zebras, hawks. Yeah, even a tarantula. Can you imagine that running around, scutting around? Yeah, like. Your, your objectives will be like free this animal, free that animal, and then they'll all follow you. And you should have an option of which one you want to be, and it'll be like the animal deck. I like it, and I want that. And in cop mode, you can have two <laughs> of the animals at the same time. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Look, there are ideas for part two. Uh, even just a cat, we've got Mo there. Mo, you coming over? No, he doesn't want to come over in this video, sorry. He was in the pang video. He was in the pang video. Also, you know. another pang. <laughs> <Close>. <laughs> There's going to be lots of this. Exactly. So, 
Even if you can just control cats, that'd be pretty cool. Ooh, Mo's looking at the wall. What's Mo doing? Are you, Mo, you coming over? You want to be in that Untitled Goose game or Untitled Cat, cat game? He's focused on the wall. Really. He's focused, yeah. I'll tell you what, you keep talking, I'll grab Mo because he might want to be in our game. Um, yeah, we would, we'd like to see if any of you guys, are, any of the producers are watching, feel free to make an to make a podcast on it on the Arcade Attack channel. Yep, yeah. and like I said, guys, if you're really struggling for ideas, we've got you can base it uh, on Mo. We'd like it if Mo could be it. It's an untitled Mo game, and you can control Mo the cheeky cat. Mo, would you like to do that? I think I take that as a jump. That yes. Yeah. Well, guys, that's it. Untitled Goose game, brilliant game. It's on all consoles, I think. Oh. Really worth getting. I highly recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's Minnie. Uh, other cat. She. Um, I think she's been in like two videos. I think they're being controlled by video game players. That's a bit crazy. So we'll all control the cats. Um, well, look, let's leave it there. Have, have you got any final thoughts for on top of Goose Game? I usually do, but I really don't. <laughs> oh, when you do complete the game it's and fun. you get the bell, you can replay the game with bonus missions, can't you? There's extra, there's additional sort of extension when tasks. When you get the bell, it gives you like a whole like three new pages of what to exactly do. so there is replayability it's a small game i'm not going to say you could probably complete it in, in an hour or two possibly cheap but cheerful cheap but cheerful lovely lovely fun love the graphics love the music didn't say about that great great music um well there you go guys oh before we go quack 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 just saying quack. goodbye to our goose quack. listeners quack. yeah quack. goodbye i'll see you another day on the tna channel